Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here from PressureCleaningSchool.com where my passion is to help you new guys that are just starting out master the pressure washing industry. Hey, coming up another two tip Tuesday, we're gonna talk about pressure washing fittings, the sizes, the thread types, different ways that we use these coming up next. Okay guys, the fittings we use for our pressure washing equipment come in basically two different sizes, three eighths, and quarter inch. If you're using higher GPM machines, say like a 12 gallon per minute and up, you might use half inch. But for most of you just starting out, you'll pretty much be using 3 8 and quarter inch. There are two different types of these fittings. A plug, which are these, and a coupler which are these. Now, when we put these fittings together, a coupler, they become a quick connect fitting, coupler and a plug. It's called that because they are easy to quick connect. And both the 3 8 and quarter inch sizes and even the half inch, you also have two different thread types. One is FPT, which is female pipe thread, and the other is MPT, which is male pipe thread. Female pipe thread are like these here, with the threads going into the fitting, and the male pipe thread are like these, with the threads coming out of the fitting. An easy way to remember, and how I taught myself to remember how which size fitting went where, is just always remember that from the bottom of your gun back to your machine are always going to be 3 8 fittings. From the top of the gun all the way to and including the nozzle or one quarter inch fittings. One of the decisions you have to make when setting up your rig or machine is what is your lead fitting going to be? And when I say your lead fitting, I'm talking about which fitting, coupler or plug, will you use, say like at the bottom of the gun? A plug, or a coupler. I was taught early on in my career that the plug points the way of the water. So for me, at the bottom of the gun is always the coupler because on the end of my hose, I have the plug. Same thing on my machines. The fitting coming off the machine is the plug. The fitting coming off the hose reel is a plug. So everywhere we have a fitting, the water flows through, it flows through the plug. By the way, there's some maintenance things you have to make sure that you're going to do with your fittings. I'm going to link another video here above called Pressure Washing O-Ring Maintenance. Um, you should watch for tips on maintaining your pressure washing fittings. Hey, be sure to leave me a comment or question if I can help you and make sure you just subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified whenever I post new videos. Also, let me know which way you prefer, coupler or plug as the lead fitting on your equipment. I love to hear different ways that y'all do things. So getting back to the fittings, here's a pressure washing gun that we use. And so at the bottom, you'd have the 3 8 coupler here, or some guys may use the plug here. Either way is fine. It's a personal preference thing. It's just like how I was mentioning before. When you initially set up uh, your rig or machine, whichever way you decide to go, that's the same fitting you want coming off your machine. This keeps everything consistent and easy to set up future hoses, reels, 
and even like this downstream injector. We all know that downstream injectors have this little arrow right here tells you the way your mix will flow as it comes up the siphon tube. So this arrow, whenever you put your fittings on, must be pointing towards your gun. So when we set ours up, since the plug points the way of the water flow, then we know to always put the plug on the end that the arrow is pointing towards. Now when the soaper nozzle is attached, the mix will draw up the siphon hose and flow the way the arrow is pointing, which is towards my gun. Now let's talk about the quarter inch fittings. From the top of the gun to the end, everything is quarter inch. So if we take the gun and want to put our coupler right here at the end of the gun, then we are using the quarter inch MPT coupler. And we are threading it into the female pipe thread FPT of the gun. If you're like me and use the pressure washing gun assembly, and I'll put a link to a separate video titled pressure washing ready to use tools so you can explore a little more about this gun assembly. But if you're like me, then we set up our guns. We put a quarter inch Mossmatic swivel here. And that video I link, pressure washing ready to use tools, will talk about why it's so important to have one of these. Then we attach our short wand followed by our one quarter inch FPT female pipe thread coupler. The coupler is where we would attach our J rod with our nozzles for soaping high and rinsing high and low. What were the colored nozzles that come with your machine? One of the things I think that is important to cover, especially if you're new, is that when these two fittings are quick connected, say like two hoses together at a ball valve or a hose connected to your downstream injector, anywhere these two fittings connect, the plug side will tend to get little divots or burrs right here on the underside of this little ridge. This is from the constant pressure pull release each time you pull and release the trigger. To minimize this, make sure that you're always disconnecting and connecting these fittings at least once a week. Just simply pull them apart and then reconnect them. When they start getting hard to disconnect, or reconnect, you can either replace them or if you're on a job, you can take a little piece of sandpaper like this and just twist a few times and you'll smooth, smooth those burrs out. You could also use a pair of channel locks. Do it like that. Or a file and do it. I just prefer the sandpaper method because it seems much easier to me and it's the way I was taught. Hey, lastly guys, uh, one thing uh, that I want to remember, whenever you put a spray nozzle in the end of, the, of your wand on this coupler, always make sure that it gets fully seated you want it to snap into place just like that. Um, it's very important that you don't get in a hurry um, and, and forget about that because what can happen is when you pull the trigger and it's like this, this will shoot and it will take off and it will go very, very far. So that's why I always teach at my school whenever you're pulling the trigger to always pull the trigger 
pointing straight up in the air. That way, if for some reason this happens, it's going to go straight up in the air and it'll eventually come back down. Just hope it doesn't hit you. But you don't want to be pointing this like this or at a surface like window, a wall, anything. Always just straight up in the other air, never straight out or at a surface. Um, if it happens and this thing takes off, just don't even look in the air for it. Don't start looking on the ground for it. Just head over to the truck, get you another fitting because you ain't going to find it. All right. Very, very important safety tip. Hey, lastly, I recommend that you always purchase stainless steel fittings. Um, it's the only kind that we sell at the DougRuckerStore.com and the only kind that I use. They just last way longer than the others um, and they're well worth a little extra cost over cheaper fittings. So stainless steel, get those only. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to, to you. Um, please leave me a comment or a question. Make sure you subscribe and also hit that bell button so that you get notifications every time that I post something that could possibly be useful for you. And share the video out too. If you know somebody that this could help, make sure you send it to them or post it or uh, however you think it could help them. Thanks so much. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, if you need to visit my website, PressureCleaningSchool.com, got a great online video school there that will drastically help you cut your learning curve, uh, especially if you're just starting out in this pressure washing business.